So your friends and your family don't believe in you. Your mother, your father, everybody thinks that you're a joke, man. Maybe they don't take your business serious. Maybe they don't think your dreams are realistic. Maybe they tell you, hey, you know what? You need to go back to school. Or maybe they tell you, you need to get some job security, get you something real. You're dreaming out here. You need to take care of those kids, take care of that family. You need to go out here and be serious about your future. That's what you need to do. This entrepreneurship shit, it doesn't work. This, you're not cut out for this. And I know, how does that feel deep inside? It makes you mad, right? It makes you upset that everybody around you doesn't believe in what you're doing. But I wanna give you a bit of a reality check, just really quickly. Why the fuck should they believe in you? I want you to really think about that, deep down inside. Why the fuck should they believe in you? You know, a while back, I remember when I was first starting, my mother didn't believe in what I was doing. In fact, when I dropped out of school, she said, you know, you need to go back to school, get you a degree. It's just a safe route to do. And at the time, I just thought about myself like, I don't, I don't understand why she doesn't believe in me. All the friends and family I went to, they didn't believe in me. I remember being accused of being a part of a cult because I was outside of society's traditional beliefs. People actually said that I was a part of a cult. They thought I had gone crazy. People thought I had lost my mind. And all of them wrote me off that I was gonna be a washout, a burnout, somebody who isn't successful. None of them believed in me. But I realized something in this entire journey. And I thought to myself as I became more successful, I remember the first time I moved out of my mom's house, I called everybody and said, should I do it? And they were all like, no, you shouldn't do it. You should stay there. But I did it anyway. I remember I was so broke the first month I moved out of my mom's house that I had to win my groceries by beating my roommates in poker. That's how much little money I had. But I figured it out. I started getting my first clients and I started becoming more successful. Pretty soon I was able to move to a new place. And the cycle started all over again. I was paying more bills, it got more difficult, and I had to figure it out again. But at the same time, people still didn't believe in me. When I finally got to the point where the business was becoming successful, I was getting clients in, I made my first six figures, I had products doing well, I had people coming in, I was starting to hire employees. All of a sudden, everybody started reappearing. Everybody started coming back around. And it became even more pronounced when I moved downtown, when I moved to my first penthouse or my first two story. And when I moved here, I saw a dramatic shift in a lot of the people around me. All of a sudden, people were starting to believe. It's as if they saw some type of light. It's like the prophecy had been fulfilled. And now everybody was around me saying, you did it. I knew you was gonna do it. I always knew you were gonna do it. And none of them even remember that they doubted me. <laughs> Here's the funny thing though. I would've took that personally a long time ago. Because my mindset back then was I just wanted to shit on everybody who said I couldn't do it. I wanted to dunk on them. I wanted to show all the haters and the people who doubted me that I did what I said I was going to do. Look at you and your mediocre job, your mediocre living. Y'all don't want the freedoms I want. I did some shit you could never do. You were scared to do. That was my perspective. But then I realized something. The reason they did it wasn't because they really thought I couldn't do it. The reason they doubted me it was because of their own fears. I remember this story a while back. It was this girl I was talking to her on the phone, and she, um, she was getting out of religion. She didn't like religion, she didn't like Christianity. And her mother, of course, was a diehard Christian, and she said, you know what you're doing, you shouldn't do that. She didn't agree with it, and she said, I don't understand why she doesn't, doesn't agree with me. She just thinks she's trying to, she thinks she can control me. She thinks she can control me. And I offered her this perspective. I said, okay, you don't believe, that's fine, right? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. You believe what the fuck you wanna believe. But I asked her this, well, if you had a child one day, wouldn't you do everything in your power in order to make sure they're good? She said, of course I would. I said, even if you thought they were going off and doing something that was detrimental to their life, wouldn't you try to stop them? She's like, yeah, I would. I said, your mother, she's a diehard Christian. So she believes that you turning your back on Christianity means that you're going to burn in hell, internal damnation. This is what she believes. Whether it's true or not, it's not the point. This is what she believes. So in her mind, her daughter is damning herself to internal damnation, burning in hell. You don't think she's gonna do something to try to stop you? You don't think her fear of that is gonna be something that she factors in when she tells you what you should and shouldn't do? See, I realize this. The reason everybody doubts you, the reason why everybody's saying you can't do it right now is because they're taking their fears and they're planning them on you. 
And while you're sitting here trying to hope that the validation comes from them, I'm gonna tell you something, it's not coming. As an entrepreneur, you're really gonna have a few people who believe in you. It's not gonna be usually your friends and family. Usually it's gonna be some people you pick up along the way. And those are gonna be the per first people who believe in you. I tell my friends all the time. I told my cousin this the other day. She was talking about, you know, they really don't understand the entrepreneurial journey. I tell her, that's what the fuck it is. This is the life you chose. So as an entrepreneur, I want you to know something. You're not gonna have belief in the beginning. If you do, you should be happy. Count yourself as one of the lucky ones. But if you landed on a video like this, it's because maybe you're feeling that pressure. And I'm gonna tell you something. Snap the fuck out of it. You're an entrepreneur. You chose this shit. So it's time to get real with yourself. That validation is not coming. So as entrepreneurs, what do we learn to do? We learn to believe in ourselves. We learn to try stuff and take it out to conclusion. One of my favorite shows, I was watching Attack on Titan. And why this is one of my favorite shows is because there's all kinds of moments in the show where people are sent to their death. And the leadership is always questioned in the show. Always questioned in the show. And there's one part of the show where they're riding on the horses and he's, and he's riding and he's looking back and it was, he was either supposed to trust his team or trust himself. And one of the main guys that was leading says, you know, I never know whether to trust myself or trust my team. I always struggle with it. I just do what I regret the least. Do what you regret the least. See, people are gonna always question your decisions in life. When I dropped out of school, it was questioned. When I started to build a business, it was questioned. When I decided to move out of my mom's house and make my own way, it was questioned. Every time I make a business decision in business, people question it. Should we do it that way? Should we market it that way? Should we be focusing over here? It's always questioned. But don't, what you don't realize is even learning to live without the validation of your friends and family is making you a better leader. It's preparing you for the journey of entrepreneurship that is ahead. At a certain point, you have to accept that you can't be mad at them. They just don't see it because they didn't come from that background. They didn't come from that perspective. They didn't come from what we came from. They didn't want to do the things we do. I see people all the time and it's not a knock on them. They don't want the responsibility of building their own business. But what you'll slowly begin to realize is that you don't need their validation because they're coming back anyway. When you become successful, you don't think they're gonna come back and say that they believe you always can do it. That's what happened in my case. A lot of the people who said that I wasn't gonna be shit, those are people who hit me up right now for business advice. A lot of people who wouldn't listen to one word I said, as soon as they saw some tangible results, all of a sudden, hey, we need to talk business. We need to sit down. We need to chop it up. Ha. Oh, you need to chop it up with me now? Now you need to chop it up with me? But it's fine though. What I'm trying to get to you, what I'm trying to emphasize to you in this video is that in order to be successful in life, there's some things you have to accept. When it comes to being an entrepreneur, there's some things you have to accept. One thing you have to accept is that because you're going outside what you've traditionally seen when it comes to success, unless you grew up in an entrepreneurial family or an entrepreneurial background, since you're going outside what is traditionally seen as successful, nobody has seen it before. Therefore, they're not going to understand what you're doing. It's gonna look like some crazy shit to them. And remember this anytime you go outside society's norms. The next thing is, don't expect other people to support your risk. Who's gonna support your risk? If you feel like somebody's taking a crazy risk with your money, are you gonna be all in like, hey, take all my money. If you fuck it off, hey, that's what it is. Well, these people care about you. They care about you, so in their mind, the only way they know how to love you is to try to protect you from what they think is a crazy decision. From their perspective, from their perspective. We don't know if you got work ethic. We don't know if you're gonna go hard. We don't know if you're gonna put in the hours. We don't know that yet until we see that and until you prove that. The next part of it is, Look, to be honest with you, you don't need their validation. It's something we would like, but in all honesty, realize your mother could be wrong. Your brother could be wrong. Your sister, your brother, your cousin, your friends, they could all be wrong because you're going in a path they've never seen. They could all be wrong. And once you realize that, what you begin to notice is that you become a better leader. You become somebody who can take on entrepreneurship by yourself. You become somebody who starts to see things that other people can't see because you've built something up from scratch. You become a stronger individual. Now you don't need as much validation. It's making you stronger. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't ever believe. So this is one of my favorite passages and I want to leave you with this before we go. So with this student, he was in school and he was going through a struggle. He was reading a book and the professor was on top of him about reading the book. 
He was struggling with his courses. He didn't know what to do. He thought he was gonna fail. He couldn't find answers to the problems. He just thought all hope was lost. And then when he opened up the book, he saw a phrase there that said, proceed and light will dawn. The problems will solve themselves as you come to them. Proceed and light will dawn. You see, most people don't have that mindset that when they go through problems and struggle, that life is gonna change for them. So instead of taking action, instead of going forward, what they do is they retract into their fears. And then they put those fears on you. That's why they're scared. That's why they doubt you. That's why they hate, because they don't want to see somebody break out of the mediocrity. What you have to understand is when you proceed, the answers will come to you. As you proceed further and you get further down the path, all those people who doubted you, when they see the truth, they're going to slowly start coming back into your life. As you get further down that path, you're gonna see all the validation you thought you needed. It's gonna slowly begin to reappear. But it's almost as if the universe, God, or whatever you believe is testing you to see if you really want what you want. It's stripping everything away from you to build you up as a new person. And anybody who's not been through that process, they're not gonna believe. So I say to you, real simple thing, I say to you at the end of this video, are you gonna let your problems stop you? Are you gonna let the doubt from your family stop you? Are you gonna continue to hang on them for validation? Or are you gonna learn to validate yourself? Most importantly, are you gonna proceed and understand that eventually, if you keep going forward, if you keep moving in that direction towards your dreams and your goals, eventually, light will dawn and you'll see the success you always want. Keep taking action, massive action movement.